Gaming PCs are performance powerhouses, but they don't have to sound like one. I remember my first PC, I put it together back in 2011 I believe, and I was so proud of it at the time, it's the first thing I'd ever put together myself, but it wasn't really a looker and it made an absolute racket. And the thing is, it really didn't need to. If I'd known a little bit more back then, I could have had something that was significantly quieter and wouldn't have affected the temperatures of the system. So if you're in a similar space, then hopefully this video might help you get a little bit of a quieter PC. So if you're designing a new build, what sort of things would you need to know? Well, the main thing, and the thing I would like you to take away from this video, is that your PC is only as quiet as the loudest component inside. You can spend an absolute fortune getting a brilliant graphics card, CPU, cooler, fans, but then if you've got some hard drives that are making an absolute racket because they're not fitted properly, well, that's what you're going to hear and you're going to have essentially uh, wasted your money until you fix the problem. The things really to think about though are the things that make the noise in your system. So the fans obviously are probably the first thing that people think about, but you've also got to remember that the cases themselves can have a big impact, as well as things like hard drives and anything that isn't fitted properly that might create some rattling that I assure you will get very annoying. Now obviously we do need fans to actually keep our system at a decent temperature, and depending on the amount of money you spend on your case, it will normally directly correlate with the amount and the quality of the fans you're going to get. So if you go for a very cheap case, unfortunately you're probably going to get some NAF fans that you might want to swap out later, whereas if you go for a more expensive case, something like the Corsair 460X behind me, it actually comes with decent fans in the first place and I wouldn't personally see the need to swap these out. Your graphics card and processor are slightly different beasts though, and are called slightly differently. You can grab an air cooler or water cooler. An air cooler will rely on a large heatsink and a fan that will then carry the heat away, whereas a water cooler will rely on water that will directly bring the water from the hot bit, which is your CPU or GPU, and then take it to a radiator where a fan will blow air away. And this is actually a lot more efficient, but obviously it is putting water in your system, which some people won't be happy with and you can sometimes get a lot of pump noise that can actually be more distracting than fan noise, but it will depend on the exact unit that you go for. A decision you're going to have to make that only affects graphics cards is whether to go for a reference design or a third party design. And when a new graphics card is made, the manufacturer, so either Nvidia or AMD, will have what's known as a reference cooler. This is what the graphics card has been tested on and it will fit in pretty much any case because it relies on a single fan to blow air through it, and out of your case, whereas third parties come along and essentially say, you know what, I can do a better job, and they have a much larger cooling solution, often at increased cost, but they are often quieter and they will give you lower temperatures than a reference design. Now the final thing to mention in terms of components is with storage, and everyone knows that SSDs are all the rage and they give you a much more responsive system, but they're also completely silent because there's no moving parts in there whatsoever. Contrast this, you have normal traditional hard drives that spin, they do create quite a loud whirring motion if they're not fitted correctly, and even if they are, they can still be quite noticeable if the rest of your system is very quiet. Now, I'm not suggesting that you completely get rid of hard drives because normally, especially when you're doing anything like gaming, you'd never be able to hear the hard drives anyway, but if you're going for the absolute dead silent system, then you are going to want to go for an SSD only system, but obviously that is very expensive. So that's everything I think you need to know about the component selection, but the other side of the coin is all about tuning, making sure your system is running efficiently. And this is what I should have done all those years ago, because I made the big mistake of building a PC but never customizing the fan speed. And this is what is going to make your PC run a lot quieter when it doesn't need to be loud. So all we need to do is make sure that all your fans are connected to some sort of fan controller. In my case, and in pretty much everyone's case these days, it's just going to be the CPU and fan headers on your motherboard. This is going to allow you to make a fan curve that is going to correlate with your temperatures, so that when you're running cool, you can have quiet fans, but as soon as you're running it at max load, your fans will ramp up and then you'll have the cooling. If you don't have enough fan headers, then you can invest in something like the Corsair Commander Pro, but for most people this probably isn't necessary, despite the fact that it is quite a cool bit of kit. 
So what I did, and what most people will need to do, is just grab the utility that comes with your motherboard. If you're running an Asus motherboard like I am, then this is AO Suite, but if you're running Gigabyte, MSI, or any of the other brands, they will have their own. And it's really easy. All you need to do is tune your fans. There's a button called Fan Tuning, and the rest will take care of itself. It will find out the best settings for your fans. It will discover the ranges that they can run at, and then you can then customize it further. And rather than me talk about how great it is, this is the difference. So as you can clearly tell, it's a massive difference just from hitting one button. This will of course depend on the fans you've got in your system and if you have something like a really loud power supply then you will then start to hear this over your case fans but it should give you a good starter for tuning your system to make sure that it's a lot quieter than it was. Obviously you can make further changes to fine tune everything and you can set fan spin up speeds and slow down speeds and things like that if you're getting a lot of peaking and there are loads of other things you can do things like get different cases with foam inserts to further reduce the noise but I'm someone that likes to have a nice balance and I think that careful component selection good tuning is all you need to do. So I think that's everything really you need to know and everything I have to offer. I hope it's been useful. If it has hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. If you have your own tips and tricks please leave them down below. Always really helpful and it's great to hear your suggestions and obviously help everyone else out. A massive thank you to you guys for watching this video, of course, to Asus REG for sponsoring the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.